All right, what's going on guys, my name's Chopper. So today, I'm gonna to attempt to answer the really tough question of how the weasel actually knows Nikolai or keeps hearing his name in Mob of the Dead. So I'm gonna to attempt to answer this, but before we go ahead and do that, we need to break down what Mob of the Dead is in its entirety. So when you go into Afterlife and Mob of the Dead, a couple of different things happen. When you go into Afterlife, you go into Purgatory Mode. This is basically uh, a waiting room between life and death, if you will. It's kind of a weird analogy to explain, but you guys get what I mean. Your soul is in between life and death, and you can see and hear things that you otherwise would not if you were just you know alive and a human and on earth so that being said, I believe the summoning key is a similar concept. You guys know that in Black Ops 3 Zombies, we're going around to different maps and collecting different characters' souls, and when their soul actually goes into this summoning key, I don't believe that they're just actually, you know, floating around in this little ball, they're just little orb. They're actually going somewhere else much, much bigger. It's a much bigger dimension than you might think, but the summoning key is just the physical artifact of how you actually capture these souls into this bigger place, okay? So kind of get your head around that. Just think of the summoning key as a portal to a much, much bigger dimension that can hold a ton of things in a, a you know a ton of places. All right, just think of it as a huge dimension on its own. So with that being said, you guys know that Mob of the Dead is basically a time loop in which the events of Mob of the Dead, when they actually go to the bridge, never happened. Okay, they never actually took the plane to the bridge. What had happened was when the night of the escape, the alleged escape, right? They went to the rooftop and they betrayed Albert Arlington. They all killed him. And then the next morning, they were sentenced to death by electric chair. And that was actually what happened on the bridge. But Albert the Weasel was killed way before them. They actually killed him, and they ever, they never went to the bridge themselves. Like, that didn't actually happen where they went as a group. So they're forced to relive that over and over again. And that's the whole thing about breaking the cycle and everything like that. That's what you do in the Mob of the Dead Easter egg. So that kind of explains that and gets out of the way. But here's where the crazy part of the theory comes in. I believe that in this purgatory mode, you know, in this loop that they're in, this could all be taking place inside the dimension of the summoning key. Now, we don't really know what's inside that summoning key because we haven't really used it to summon anything. And Jason Bundell's told us that. But... What I was thinking is that this summoning key is a, a portal to a much bigger dimension, and this could possibly be what's inside the summoning key. All this could be taking place, the Mob of the Dead anyway, you know, the simulation or this purgatory mode could be taking place inside the summoning key. And if that was true, that fact in itself would explain exactly why that the weasel can hear Nikolai, and that's why he says, you know, Nikolai, 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 why do I keep hearing that name? That would explain exactly why that he can hear him, because when he goes into purgatory mode, or excuse me, if he goes into afterlife mode in Mob of the Dead, um, he can hear Nikolai through the summoning key. They're in the same dimension, and then they would be able to hear each other because they're in the same place. Now, we have not gathered Nikolai's soul just yet. He's not in the summoning key just yet, but that's going to be happening soon. But that still would explain why, you know, they can hear each other. And when you go at, when you actually go into Afterlife in Mob of the Dead, when you go into this purgatory mode, you can hear whispers as you're, you know, walking around. You have to listen really closely, but you can hear whispers of like many souls or many people. And one of those whispers could be Nikolai himself or it could be somebody else just saying Nikolai's name and maybe warning him or letting him know, giving him a heads up on something, you know, maybe Nikolai is coming to collect collect his blood because you guys know after these Zetsubo Noshima Easter egg right before they're getting ready to go to Stalingrad you know after they just killed the 1.0 Takio they go somewhere else it's like an instantaneous teleport we have no idea where they went it didn't even give us a glimpse of anything it was literally just a white screen and then Dempsey says you know I didn't expect that and that would explain exactly why they go somewhere else they did not expect Probably, I was guessing to maybe collect the souls of either the Call of the Dead crew, which is another video on its own, or the Mob of the Dead crew. So that is really my theory about this. Until we actually get some serious, legit information about DLC 3 and how Nikolai relates back to Weasel or Mob of the Dead, this is entirely speculation. This is kind of my ideas on this. So I want to let, let me know what you guys think about my theory in the comment section down below. If you have any other theories for why, you know, the Weasel can hear Nikolai or why he's hearing his name, please do let me know. I'm interested to hear from you guys. So that's pretty much all I've got for you guys today. Make sure do leave a like. Let's see if we can hit 40 likes on this video. That would be absolutely amazing. But anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you all for watching the video again. Make sure you do subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.